Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at BAFX. I think we have a great trading week ahead of us and I will guide you through all the market that you need to keep an eye at. So while I roll the intro and disclaimer, please hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. Welcome back guys. Well, uh, a quick look at the uh, calendar uh, for next week. And as you see, most of it going to be about the CAD and the US dollar and lots of uh, speech that we uh, need to keep an eye at. Um, as uh, the first speech on Thursday from Governor Carney, then we do have uh, President Draghi, then we have uh, uh, Fed Chair Powell also on Wednesday. Thursday, we do have uh, Governor Polos to uh, give a speech about the CAD. And of course, Friday is the NFP Friday for the US dollar and major event for the CAD since we're going to get the employment and unemployment rate. So a uh, pretty packed uh, major event week. And I think the upcoming two weeks going to be uh, very busy for the market ahead of the Christmas. So what happened last week with the uh, Trump Chi uh, meeting or the dinner they have uh, during the or in the sideline of G20 um, summit that we have a ceasefire for at least 90 days um, pause in uh, tariff hikes from both countries to um, try to uh, get a trade Deal. So this is also um, give the market a little bit uh, room and a little bit um, time to uh, think and uh, maybe to lower risk a little uh, bit as well. If we look at the chart, we start with the Dixie as usual. And um, the Dixie on the daily time frame, as you see, we're still inside this ascending channel here with uh, still having higher highs and higher lows going on. Um, Wednesday last week, we had this uh, major engulfing candle after the Powell comments uh, that the market did see that as a bit of a dovish comments. Uh, so we had a very strong drop to then reach the bottom of the channel um, giving us uh, a, a morning star and on Friday uh, we got the confirmation of the morning star formation here with a um, pretty st strong dollar mostly based on a weak uh, euro because uh, the dollar did not do well against all currency it was mostly against the euro and the sterling so as for now, we could still consider um, the dollar as bullish, but of course we want to see this previous high to get broken as well for more upside. So if we go down to a lower time frame, which is the four hour time frame, we see that this was uh, the drop we've got after the uh, uh, comment from uh, Fed Chair Powell. And um, yeah. Uh, as I said, on Friday, we broke the neckline and we uh, trading back above the 97, which was a an important um, level to for the dollar to keep above it. So if we take a look also on the monthly, actually, you see that we ended the month, the month just above uh, with a close just above a previous month high. And um, yeah, my anticipation is uh, to see if we're going to break above uh, this previous high here is a very, very important candle. Now, this uh, is um, the level to uh, get broken if the dollar to keep moving higher. As uh, first, um, I'm looking to see if we're going to get another retest of the 97 area. And if we got bullish evidence at that 97 level, to uh, look for a possible bounce to the upside or long. Trouble on the way up is of course the 97.55 area. This may give the dollar some trouble and we need to see this level broken for more upside. Okay, uh, just one thing guys, before I keep going, these uh, monthly uh, pivots are still old from the last months. I do not have uh, uh, 
December pivot, uh, the monthly December pivots yet. So uh, just so you know. Gold still sideways. We start with the monthly. We see we end up with a pretty indecision candle inside bar on the monthly inside previous month range. Uh, on the weekly also very uh, choppy as you see indecision candle once again. And on the daily uh, you see that we've been going sideways the whole week. Yeah, So we have still this uh, range that we're trading um, inside. A new range is the uh, last month's uh, pivot point down here is support. And of course we still have uh, this area up here as um, important resistance, the 1229 area is uh, the resistance so nothing new here we're still uh, bouncing around sell the high by the low until we have a breakout for more upside we need to see gold breaking above these highs to probably test the major high around the 1238 area okay so still sideways you should be playing the edges of these boxes until we have a breakout is the main idea here. Oil still bearish also. If we look at the monthly, we had a very, very bearish month, as you see, uh, closed near the lows. Uh, on the weekly, we had um, a break below the 200 weekly moving average. Last week, we had a retest and another push lower. So it looks a bit scary down below here. There's nothing to hold it until we reach the 43 area. And on the daily, uh, once again, we had a very, very uh, choppy week here. Uh, up, down, up, down, uh, and uh, consolidating in this uh, level. So still strong bearish market and um, the whole last week was inside this little range so this is now a major range to keep an eye at for oil uh, to continue down we need to have a break below and if we're gonna have a um, deeper correction to the upside i am looking to see if we're gonna get a break above and then maybe a continuation now let's not forget about the opec meetings next uh, thursday and ahead of that, we usually uh, get a lot of headlines uh, uh, from all the ministers and uh, the different countries that are going to join this meeting. So it may be uh, bumpy, so keep, um, keep an eye on that and be aware of that. You maybe want to be outside of oil next week uh, is the best way. But uh, as I told you, these are the technicals that we should be looking at. EURUSD still um, using the 200 um, moving average on the 4 hour as uh, dynamic uh, resistance here as you see but we're gonna take a look on the weekly and make a top down analysis on that. So on the weekly once again a try to break and close below the 200 weekly moving average did fail it could not break and close below it. Another indecision week on Friday it got pretty uh, weak for the uh, euro i was not really sure for the main reason behind that actually but as you see we are once again testing this uh, support level it was a good support previously here it was a good support here it was uh, resistance here so it is a, a pretty important area where the euro is testing right now after this uh, pretty strong uh, bullish candle on Wednesday, one could expect a continuation. But as you see, no higher high been broken yet. And um, Friday was showing pretty strong uh, bearish move to the downside. So here we are again sitting on this support. Um, I will be watching if the euro gonna test this low down here. This is a major low now that if that got broken, then we may have another push lower to test these lows down here. Otherwise, uh, this could act as possible support 
and uh, a bounce to the upside yeah do not forget we do have nfp next week so uh, this is the range for the year right now to keep an eye at we uh, need to see this box uh, broken for more upside yeah as for now as i said the 200 um, moving average on the four hour acting as pretty nice uh, dynamic resistance as you see here we've been uh, using that um, as resistance to um, sell the euro so um, yeah that is um, what i have uh, on this one so keep an eye where it is testing right now this is a possible support that may give you a little bit of a bounce to the upside a short break to announce to you that the uh, registration for the next course has started and right now i have an amazing offer for you guys and that is a christmas offer 400 dollars off which mean uh, you're gonna get this course for 499 instead of 899 um, including lifetime subscription to my trading room and you will learn all this if you go to my site you will uh, read more about it but it is all about reading how to read structure top-down analysis and price action support resistance supply and demand fibonacci trend lines rsi moving average pivot point trading how to build your own strategy how to build your own trading plan uh, how to uh, have a trading journal risk management trading psychology and mistakes and much much more so it is an amazing one-time offer for three weeks only four hundred dollars off if you sign up right now you will be able to join our trading room directly from the first second you subscribe and you can be in our trading room um, as i said uh, a lifetime subscription and then when the time comes to start the course which is the 7th of january then you will join that class so if you're still thinking now is the time to take this amazing offer sterling usd also sitting on a, a support level if we look at the weekly you see that we do have all these lows here acting as good support uh, daily time frame uh, we see it also clear we need to break below the low of um, last week for more downside but it looks uh, pretty heavy as you see the highs are getting lower and uh, there is a lot of pressure from the upside uh, still uh, widely um, all about uh, brexit here and uh, all the brexit headlines are the only uh, mover of this market so uh, what to look at is this uh, support level um, a break below this could mean a continuation to the downside so this is what i'm looking for as first since the major trend is still to the downside so this is what i'm looking for but once again this support um, still holding we had a bounce here a bounce here and last week we closed near the support level so it may also give you a possible bounce to the upside but for that to happen we need to have some good uh, brexit news um, for for uh, for the sterling and i'm not seeing uh, any sign of good news um, yet you could use a uh, trend line as well to use as your filter that uh, could mean uh, a break above the trend line um, could send us once again to test this uh, important level up here that could be an idea also if you want to go with a counter trend trade okay usd jappy also pretty tricky right now um, we start coiling up the trend uh, is not clear anymore we break higher then we break lower then another lower high so um, it is pretty tricky as you see and we start having uh, some kind of um, a triangle here and um, we could keep uh, triangling like this um, for a while yeah so keep an eye on these uh, on these uh, trend lines from both the upside and the downside 
and um, yeah try to uh, trade the uh, extreme edge of them because when we have triangles usually uh, we have a uh, lots of fake outs as well so be aware of that on the four hour time frame you see it uh, also that we have lower highs higher lows lower highs another higher low so um, it is coiling up for th for something big the question is what uh, direction now if those um, uh, good news um, that China and the US will have a ceasefire on uh, the trade war uh, really start to showing that the market uh, taking that as a positive sign that should mean um, a weaker Jaffe and that the dollar may keep pushing higher yeah so if we get rid of these levels here or the trend lines in my opinion what we should be watching is still down here this is uh, the 1280 area is um, a major important support level that we uh, should keep an eye at as a possible bounce if this flag got broken then there is a possibility that we reach this level down here uh, another scenario would be well uh, first off uh, of course a retest and then continuation from this or that we break and hold above uh, this level here that could mean a continuation for the bull especially if we see that the stock market uh, start moving higher based on those news uh, between uh, China and the US so a pretty tricky market right now try to uh, play um, the extreme edge to be safe on that because as you see it's coiling up and trapping both sellers uh, and buyers Aussie USD still look pretty strong um, as you see the dollar was very strong on Friday but here we still see the Aussie um, pushed once again back up above uh, previous week R1 uh, trading near the highs and uh, st I'm still looking for the same scenario for more upside for Aussie USD we want to see a break above this retest and then a continuation we're still below the 200 moving average on the daily so keep that in mind but again guys if uh, China uh, feel good uh, the Aussie usually feels good as as well so still sideways market for now but a break above previous high could mean a uh, bigger reversal and uh, maybe um, the bullish move to keep uh, pushing higher on Aussie USD USD CAD also very choppy last week uh, it failed to break and close above previous highs on the daily on Friday another push uh, to uh, break and close above previous high uh, we've got we ended up with a uh, inverted hammer so um, trouble at this level are clear for uh, the USD CAD and um, yeah as you see uh, we tested once twice third time could not break uh, still the major uh, trend line right now is um, or the midterm trend line I should say is this one the major trend line is on the daily and is way down here so keep an eye on this um, inner trend line uh, if that broken uh, to the downside that could signal a, a continuation but before that happened there is a lot of, of uh, support down here at this level yeah this also need to be broken for more downside um, let's not forget uh, news from um, CAD next week the uh, rate statement overnight rate we do have uh, Paulo speaks we do have the employment and unemployment rate and uh, crude oil uh, gonna also affect so OPEC meetings gonna also affect uh, the CAD a lot so uh, this could be a pretty hard traded um, market next week so as for now as i said keep an eye on this trend line this should act as support 
if this to be a continuation for bullish market we should have some signals on the uh, trend line here okay but trouble this is resistance for more upside this resistance need to be broken uh, for this pair to keep pushing higher and uh, you need to keep an eye on oil if oil keep pushing lower even next month then this will have an easier way to keep pushing higher as well usd chief let's go to the daily on this one we saw that we broke below the neckline we had a retest and another bounce lower but we could not break below previous low and we start pushing higher from this support level so we are testing now a important resistance level on uh, usd chief um, this is a uh, normally this is a sell area since uh, we do have previous resistance so one could look uh, for a possible bearish evidence here to sell it back down toward the lows here if no bearish ev evidence happened and we got a break above this previous high then there is a possibility for a continuation to the upside so this uh, dovish powell comment happened here and last um, thursday and friday we uh, pushed all the way back up toward uh, where the price was before the powell comments yeah we could not break and close above the 200 moving average on the four hour so this is also another confluence for uh, the beers to uh, defend this level so this area is an area of resistance and if you got a nice bearish trigger then there is a possibility that we uh, push lower toward support once again okay New Zealand USD New Zealand is still the strongest currency out there uh, last week we pushed higher and we broke and closed above the 200 moving average on the daily still no break above this previous high and that was what I'm looking for for the next move to the upside so what I'm watching New Zealand is very bullish and uh, despite a strong dollar on Friday as I showed you on the Dixie the New Zealand managed to keep a bullish close on the daily so the main idea here um, we broke above this counter trend line as you see with this move did a triangle or a bullish pennant and what we're looking for if we're gonna break above previous high a break above this high here could mean a continuation to the upside and as i showed you on the daily the uh, trouble level gonna be um, let me go to the daily the next trouble level if we break above this high is uh, these highs up here so there is a pretty nice room to the upside if this managed to make a new high on the daily as for now watch out for uh, the bearish divergence going on here because this could be a possible double top but still there is no sign uh, of beers yet in this area new zealand cat is uh, the leading one since it broke above the 200 moving average for a while now it did a retest and continue we broke above previous high last week and i am considering this uh, high up here as a possible market objective yeah so it is an area that was support 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 here and resistance here in the past i think this is the major market objective to reach this level before a possible bounce back down so as far as above this inner trend line this is still by the dips market uh, for next week we could look for another retest toward this level down here or the trend line and maybe another push higher so still a bullish market on all time frames Aussie Jappy also uh, looking uh, pretty nice um, we had a break above these highs here 
uh, on Wednesday and um, Thursday was a um, evening star formation and Friday a bit of a bearish day but still it is if we look on the weekly we ended up with a nice uh, bullish engulfing and um, I'm expecting this market to uh, at least reach the top of the box um, up here as a possible market objective so um, keep an eye on this little channel what we want to see for more upside is of course a break above this flag bullish flag retest and then to uh, reach the major target which is around the 8435 up here <coughs> this is what I'm looking at for uh, this pair next week Euro Aussie still pretty bearish if we go to the weekly time frame you see that we broke below previous low very strong close uh, at the lows without any profit taking and on the daily you see it clearly also this uh, level is broken so for our time frame and start looking for uh, possible entries any retest toward this level here as shown here could be a possible area to sell it so it is a sell rallies market and a continuation of the bearish move euro chief i think the market objective here is to uh, reach these lows down here as first uh, if we go to the weekly time frame here uh, we see that there was no close below previous week it was a indecision candle um, the bigger picture could be that the beers want to take profit somewhere near these lows or test this um, possible support level down here so this is what I'm watching on the pair for next week so um, yeah first support or market objective should be to reach uh, this support level down here around the uh, 1.1265 area and below that a break below that should open the door for more upside toward these levels down here euro new zealand same as uh, euro aussie pretty bearish um, a strongly extended move but last week we broke below previous uh, major support level and nothing left now until we reach this possible area of support and the 200 uh, weekly moving average down here um, on the daily you see it more clearly that we broke the last line of defense last week so uh, also sell rallies market um, look for a, a retest to this broken level even a retest to this previous high could be also even better for a possible uh, sell area so but as first I would be looking for the retest of this uh, broken structure here to look for bearish evidence and possible continuation to the downside sterling aussie about to test this support level once again so it is still bearish with lower lows and lower highs we broke below previous structure low and um, yeah we do have uh, this support level down here to be tested below that this is the last line of defense before we start talking about the 1.71 area down here at this uh, another major support and resistance level so bearish and um, i'm looking to see if we're gonna break the first level if that happened the next uh, market objective should be to reach these lows down here for our time frame you see that we broke and closed below this previous low here and uh, that we may have some trouble at this uh, red line of support um, before a continuation we want to see that broken and if that happened then we may test this last line of defense down here sterling jappy we're still going sideways inside this uh, range so this is the box that we should be playing I think the market objective here to at least reach these lows down here for before a possible bounce any break below that could mean another leg to the downside which should be a retest of this major support level for more upside mm, that need much to happen the sterling need to have a lots of good news especially brexit related news 
to give us a break above this box so see the bottom of the box as first as a possible support and that we may have a bounce here or if we break that will open the door for a retest toward the 142.60 area the Dow on the daily pretty strong bounce from this support level uh, we trading back above the 200 moving average the 200 moving average is not so respected right now since this market is going sideways um, as you see but the next market objective should be at least to reach these highs and above that is the ex this high up here is also a possible target so if those uh, once again if those uh, news from uh, China and US happen to uh, be a good sign for the market then no one will take uh, thought much about risk and we may see a continuation here on uh, on the indices I still see this area down here as a possible good support level so any retest toward this level could be an area to look for a long FTSE let's go to the daily you see how choppy this market is very very choppy so try not to trade inside this madness uh, what I would uh, recommend that you play the edge of the box we could actually extend those edge a little bit more since we have these two uh, this double bottom here so um, try to play uh, these edges buy low sell high until we see a breakout it is still a pretty important support level down here if the break happened to the downside we need to keep an eye on this support level but as first watch this level and this level for more upside you want to see this broken otherwise play the box as ping pong sell high buy low and um, for the DAX almost the same scenario the main difference here that we had a bounce a retest another bounce that broke previous high and on Friday a retest of this neckline so we have a possible major double bottom with a strong bullish divergence here but still we have this important resistance level now that need to be broken for more upside so keep an eye on this uh, the 114526 uh, or 455 area is an important resistance level for the DAX to break for more upside as for now for our time frame as you see double bottom then a double top so it is sideways for now was slightly bullish since we start respecting this trend line uh, once again so the major resistance in my opinion is up here if that broken then there is a possibility to test even higher on uh, next week this is the make it or break level for uh, for the DAX and I think this was the last market thanks a lot guys once again don't forget to hit the like button if you like these sessions and uh, see you next week yeah bye bye